This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the bonding in oxygen and ozone. We'll start by looking at the bonding in ozone. The bonds in ozone are intermediate in strength and length between a single and a double bond. They have a bond order of 1.5. Here on the left, we can see the resonance structures of ozone. Note that there are two resonance structures because there are two different positions in which the double bond could be. On the right, we have the resonance hybrid structure of ozone. In the resonance hybrid structure, the bonds between the oxygen atoms are intermediate in length and strength between a single and a double bond. In terms of strength, they are stronger than a single bond, but weaker than a double bond. In terms of length, they are shorter than a single bond, but longer than a double bond. These bonds between the oxygen atoms in ozone are broken by UV radiation with a wavelength of less than 330 nanometers. Next, we look at the bonding in molecular oxygen. The oxygen molecule has a double covalent bond between the oxygen atoms. So here we can see the Lewis structure for the oxygen molecule. As you can see, it has a double covalent bond between the two oxygen atoms. The double covalent bond in O2 is broken by UV radiation with a wavelength of less than 242 nanometers. So next we'll compare the bonding in oxygen and ozone. The double bond in molecular oxygen is stronger than the bonds in ozone. Therefore, it requires more energy to break the bond in molecular oxygen than in ozone. So this oxygen to oxygen double bond is stronger than these oxygen to oxygen bonds in ozone. So next we look at the relationship between energy and wavelength. Here we have the electromagnetic spectrum. The energy increases as we go from radio waves on the right to gamma rays on the left. We can also see that as we go from low energy to high energy, the wavelength becomes shorter. We can also see that the frequency increases from right to left. So the relationship is higher energy equals shorter wavelength equals higher frequency. And lower energy equals longer wavelength equals lower frequency. So let's end with a summary. The stronger double bond in molecular oxygen requires higher energy UV radiation, which corresponds to a shorter wavelength to break. The weaker bonds in ozone require lower energy UV radiation, which corresponds to a longer wavelength to break. 